Ian Curtis married his teenage sweetheart Deborah in 1975. They had a daughter, Natalie, who today is 16. Deborah's account of her life with Ian, touching from a distance, was published this month. He'd always planned to commit suicide. He decided to do it before he met me or before he was in a band, before he became epileptic. So I, I think with having the band and building up the status that he got was just part of his intention. It was believed at the time that Ian's epilepsy and problems with his marriage, he was having an affair, were behind his suicide, though Deborah has never disclosed the contents of a lengthy note Ian left her. Just talks about our marriage and our life together and how much he loved me and Natalie. And it's... Um, it makes me, it upsets me to read it because he says things that he should have said while he was alive. As a teenager, he sought to escape the constraints of small town Macclesfield through the darker edges of rock and roll. He liked Iggy Pop, I think, because of the way Iggy Pop used to sort of cut himself on stage and you know, he liked all that. And Lou Reed is pretty depressing. He liked, he liked to listen to people who had maybe suffered in some way or pretended to suffer in some way. I got hold of the, the original file that he'd had in his bedroom at Victoria Park Flats. I was shocked to see that the, the writing was almost as depressing as what he'd written later on. And that was from when he was 16. Talking about how, how bad the world was. But, I mean, that's... That's the sort of thing 16-year-old boys do anyway, I think, but he, he didn't grow out of it. It just got worse. Although the music press worshipped Curtis's enigmatic persona and Joy Division were about to have their major breakthrough, Ian Curtis appeared to be maintaining the most conventional of households with his wife Debbie and new baby daughter. We got married when I was 18 and Ian was 19 and it was very normal existence to start with. I made sure the mortgage was paid and and that there was food in the house and, and then once that was all set up he could go off and, and get on with what he probably thought was being the breadwinner. 